Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with OurReviews.com and today is one of the first videos where I'm actually sitting down talking to the camera um, and not showing something on the table back there. Um, I don't have my full setup yet for doing videos like this. I have my two lights right here. Um, they're kind of close right now. I'm trying to get everything set up so I can do videos like this, but I'm, um, I just finished moving my bedroom over. Um, as you saw a couple videos ago, I was switching rooms with my sister, so this room was kind of, everything was getting thrown in here. Um, but I'm going to try to have a recording set up over here for product reviews, and then a recording set up over on the other side or next to this for doing videos like this where I'm sitting talking, or um, I have my laptop on a table, something like that, doing face videos, um, talking videos, stuff like that. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about... Um, me buying the iPhone 7 and pre-ordering the iPhone 7. I am going to be pre-ordering the iPhone 7, hopefully on release day if everything goes as planned. So far everything is going as planned. The biggest thing is out of the way. Um, the biggest thing was I had to get a credit card. Um, I didn't have to, but I want to build credit. I've never had a credit card before. I've never had credit before. Um, I own a car and I financed my MacBook Pro over there, uh, the 15-inch i7, it was like $1,800. The thing was, though, I financed that on my dad's Best Buy card, and the car is in my parents' name. I've made every payment on it a month early since I've had the car, but it's not in my name, so I don't get any, I don't build my credit on that. The computer was on my dad's Best Buy card, as I said, so again, I didn't build credit on that either. So that is one of those things where I've made all my payments on time, the computer's paid off, the car's obviously not paid off yet, I've only had it for a year right about now, um, but I'm a month early on payments, so really if I had credit, it would be good credit. I've applied for multiple cards, the Best Buy card, um, Amazon card, and they were all declined because I had insufficient credit history. So finally, I, um, I was able to get the Discover card, um, with my parents as a uh, joint applicant, so I was able to do it that way. Um, I highly recommend you check out Discover Card if you have low credit or you're a college student or something of that nature. It's pretty easy to get credit through them if you make more than $10,000 a year. Um, if you have no credit, they give you the option to add a joint applicant and you can build credit that way. So I will be purchasing the iPhone on that card and paying it off on that card within six to eight months um, to build credit. Now let's go over what iPhone I'm going to pre-order what I'm planning on doing. Um, this video is kind of turned into more of a credit building video than an iPhone video, but it's all it all goes together, so I'm probably going to combine the two. I'm going to order the iPhone 7. Hopefully, if, if they, um, like rumors say, if there's an iPhone 7 Pro, I will be getting the Pro. Um, I'm looking to spend no more than about $1,200. I am paying for the phone outright. I'm not doing any... Um, monthly payments on the phone other than like on the card but my iPhone is on my dad's business plan so I don't have an upgrade because I've gotten a new phone pretty much every year I've had the iPhone 4s, 5s and then I got the 6 um, which was kind of a graduation gift last year but this is the first iPhone I'm going to be buying myself I'm going to be pre-ordering the SIM free model because I, um, like I said, it's on my dad's business plan. I can get the information to order it through Verizon. I don't know if you can order an iPhone through Apple with a business plan. I checked on there and it asked for like a social security number and stuff like that, which I don't know if that's associated with the business plan, how that works out. So if I ended up ordering it on the account, I would probably have to do it through Verizon, which I don't want to do. I want to pre-order it through Apple 3 a.m. when it comes out because I want to get it on release day to get videos out for you guys. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to order the SIM free one, as I said, and I'm just going to take my iPhone 6 SIM or 6 Plus SIM, whatever you want to call it, out of that phone and put it in the 7. And then I'm going to sell that Verizon phone without a SIM card, and then somebody can buy it, just throw a SIM card in it. A little bit easier that way, um, pre ordering wise. I'm hoping since I don't need a SIM card, it, it won't be pre installed, that it'll be a little bit easier to get that on release day than what other people are doing, because I know a lot of people aren't paying full price for an iPhone. So I'm hoping the SIM-free models are a little bit less common um, on pre-order day than the other carrier-attached models. 
Um, like I said, I'm planning on not spending any more than $1,200 on the phone, including Apple Care. I always get Apple Care just for the accidental coverage and stuff like that. I'm not. Pl I'm planning on spending no more than $1,200. Um, so if they have a Pro model, I'm hoping that replaces the Plus model. They'll have like an iPhone 7, and then the bigger size one will be the the Pro, um, and have the features of whatever they're going to add to the Pro if that is a thing. Um, so I'll be pre-ordering that one. If they have a 32 gigabyte, or if it starts at 64, I'm going to get a 32. 32 gigabyte or 64, I don't need more or less than that. Um, I have a 64 right now and it's working out perfect for me. So those are my plans for September. Like I said, I got the card, it is in the mail, I've been approved for everything, so that's all good to go. So I just have to check with my dad to make sure I can use that SIM card on the account and that'll be fine. If everything is good in that respect, I will be pre-ordering it SIM free at 3 a.m. on release day or on pre-order day and I will be doing a video of me pre-ordering it and that experience and stuff like that and then of course when I get the phone I will be doing an unboxing and I really hope that I get it the day it comes out just to get videos out while it's fresh. But this has been ConnellDialBreviews.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more. And as always, have a great day.